Hey, New Life. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't even know what day this is in our time of uh, shelter in place. Um, I can't tell. I'm I'm hunkered down right now in uh, one of the closets in our apartment. Uh, I'm actually fortunate. I'm behind three doors right now, um, just trying to catch catch some space. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how it's going for you. I'm I'm finding that one of the things I'm wrestling with in this time is a loss of rhythm, uh, having just a clear calendar that has transitions from when I'm working and when I'm not working from when I'm with time with family and not with time with family. Uh, and, and I find that it's, it's messing with my sense of control. And that's something that I'm struggling with is not feeling in control. Um, and I imagine maybe I'm not the only one. I don't know what that looks like for you. Maybe it's, it's feeling isolated right now, or maybe it's just feeling caught up in the chaos of having all of life in one place and it's just feels overwhelming um but there's something that i've been trying to hold on to in the midst of that feeling in the loss of control and it's a it's a lyric from one of the ancient songs that we have given to us in the scriptures from the psalms um it's in psalms 46 10 and it's just a simple lyric that is beautiful in in its implications and and it goes like this it says be still and know that I am God. And there's an invitation in that that I think we can really lean into right now. And and it's an invitation to just say, hey, calm yourself, <laughs> whatever that looks like, catch your breath and, and acknowledge a simple truth that God is God. And I think we need to hold on to that idea because the implication of that is that I am not God and you are not God. God is God. And, and I think there's something that we need to rest in when we hear a phrase like that be still and know that i am god it's an invitation to acknowledge something about ourselves that may sound strange but i think it's beautiful i think it's the permission to acknowledge our smallness um now don't get me wrong i i think we are actually far bigger and stronger and more capable of things than we would ever maybe realize on our own that we were created in the image of God. We were created to be like God. We're, we're these beautiful masterpieces. And yet we were not created to be God, which means that there will be things in life that are bigger than us and beyond our control. And, and when we can rest in that freedom to acknowledge our smallness, I think it, it lets us let go of the unhealthy burden, the unhealthy burden of having to have it all figured out the unhealthy burden of having to have it all put together, to have to be in control. We were never meant to be in control. We were meant to walk with the one who is and to partner with him as we go through life. And and so I think what I'm trying to do is hold on to that idea and to, to rest in that and to, and to be okay with the fact that I'm struggling a little bit, to be okay with the fact that uh, it's hard, um, but it doesn't mean I'm all by myself it doesn't mean I can't get through it uh, because we're with the one who's with us. Uh, and so I hope right now that maybe you just give yourself permission. If it's a hard time, it's okay. If you don't have it all put together, you don't have it all figured out, it's okay. Catch your breath, pause, be still, and know that God is God. And that's really good. It's really good for us because God is good and God is for us and God is with us. And, and so I would just encourage you in the spaces that you're going through, the, 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 the times of the day that just take a breath every once in a while and say, it's okay if this feels bigger than me, if this feels beyond me. I wasn't meant to control this, but I'm walking with the one who has it under control. God is God and I'm going to be okay. And so stay safe, be brave, you've got this, and we'll stay in touch because we are in this together. Bye-bye.